This is it. The International Trade Association. Okay, then. We need to talk to Karisu, right? Huh. Doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. Looks like we found him. Uh, what am I gonna do? Mr. Kurisu, are you alright? Oh, you're Miss Sayaka from the Kamisato clan. How do you do? Better than you, it appears. Uh, and if it isn't the Traveler... I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? Thanks again for your help last time. The association is back in business, and it's all thanks to you. That's great, but, uh, why were you staring into space just now? Did something bad happen? Well, you see, it's embarrassing to admit, but some of the association's goods have been stolen by vagrants. Which goods were stolen? It was a batch of high-grade silk. Aww. We imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Recently, we heard that clothing stores in the city have more or less sold all their silk stocks. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage, thinking it'd probably fetch a good price. <sighs> but then... Ugh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch, then disappeared into the woods. I'd report it to the authorities, but... <sighs> well, as you know, they don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. While I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods, please remember, Mr. Kurisu, that while you are here in Inazuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, oh. My apologies. I had to let off some steam. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. <sighs> Perhaps I'm doomed to go bankrupt after all. I am afraid I can't intervene in an official capacity, but I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never. Wait, what? Huh? Yes, acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservation, so I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, Please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't gonna cause any issues... for you? What if someone high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a highly respected member of society. Surely putting your neck on the line for small-timers like me can't be worth the risk. <laughs> Very humorous. Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kamisato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. Whoa, that sent shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Thank you so much! Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um, uh... Everyone, please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. Alright, off we go! What's the hurry? 